really cool progress to me uh, over the last year or so. Yeah. Right? He wasn't right last year at the Open trials, um, but I think you know you go you go overseas and you you start feeling a lot of these these senior level guys more often, and you you put together some really good wins. All of a sudden, things start clicking. Yeah, you he, start getting some tricks just like that. And oh yeah, that double leg is for real. Absolutely, he's one of those guys that you, know, you see. Wow, oh, nice attack there from Jackson. Put far, anticipated it. One of those guys that you see, you know, announced that he's going to do freestyle kind of as a career, and you're like, oh, how, how committed is this guy? He's been committed, been a big part of that NJRTC, and yeah, like you said, he's added those tricks and seeing big gains. Can't say enough about what Reese is doing over there at the NJRTC. He's really kind of up in the level of every one of these athletes. For sure. The tension was hands to the face there for Jackson. Brett Farr, though, has had a nice day. He knocked off world silver medalist Boris Makoev in the quarterfinals, and uh, that was a nice nice win. He lost in a really There's tight match. Double. There's that, ja oh, that's that Jackson double. I don't know. That might have been one red. One red, yeah. I mean, I, one, I could be wrong. I could yeah, be wrong. it was close enough that, that uh, Matt Official said one blue, but the judge and chair said one for Farr, so he goes up 1-0. How do you like that? You get double legged all the way to the edge, you turn him once, you're up by a point. Not bad. Not bad. I'm sure Far will take it. Far semifinal was a really tight match with Miles Martin, and it looked good there too, so he's clearly been perfecting his game a little bit as well. Nice, Nate Jackson, you know that low single, trying to elevate, takes it to the edge, grounded, and he gets the takedown off the mat. It's great continuation, great wrestling. So he timed that step really, really well. And that, to me, is big trouble if you're far because you go, uh-oh, he's kind of got a beat on my hands and my feet. And that's not good. Far trying to kind of tie up the wrist in light of that fact, perhaps. Kind of two-on-one baseball back grip there for far. Not real comfortable when Jackson has space to work with. I don't blame him. Watch for, for Nate to start clearing ties into shots. About 45 seconds left. There it is. Jackson pulling on that head far, trying to tie up that wrist. Good hard club there from far. Jackson sneaks a peek at the clock, 25 to go. Arm drag, really nice into the shot. Jackson trying to defend, Far trying to come out the backside. Short time here. If you're Jackson, stalemate is a win, but Far gets the takedown, trying to get a He's lace as time runs out. No points, time expired first, but Brett Far regains the lead. I really love. The, 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 the fact that the official just head. yelled time. Three That's really two. smart yes. officiating. Okay, because obviously the, the whistle is not able to look at the clock, right? Yeah. But if you have somebody that says time, now all of a sudden you can blow the whistle before that, that lace goes through and nobody has to get, you know, challenge anything. Also, Excellent work. Not only good for the mat official, but good for the wrestlers too. Sure. Worst thing would have been if Jackson stops wrestling and yeah. Far cranks a. Yeah. Leg lace. Both guys have figured out how to score. Nice job, Jackson gets to the leg, Far. Golly, Far's got some hips on him too. Wow. Look at him drop those hips on him. Far's done a nice job, wrist control, in a lot of different positions of this match. Far back on that wrist. Jackson trying to pull on the head. Here's that opportunity for him to clear that tie like you're talking about.
Two minutes left. Now, you know, look, Far in the last minute or so of the bout has really pushed the action. Yeah. There he's in that shot again, to your point. Wow, Nate Jackson reverses that position really Not nice. Yet. Nothing yet. If he goes spladel, you can call me impressed. He's close to it. Still no yeah. points at all. See, the problem is he's got to wrestle. He's, yeah, he, he kind of gave up on the situation. That's some good wrestling with no points attached. Yeah. There's a little drag nice attempt again. Nice re-attack. Jackson. Wow. Man, what a back and forth match. Jackson re-attacked there, and now he's up 4-3. Hey, look, if I'm Reese, I'm telling him, you have got to keep your foot on the gas, right? You need to get one more just for a little bit of safety's sake. Especially knowing that Farr can score from that arm drag, and it's been dangerous so far. You can see Jackson trying to keep that elbow back. Minute to wrestle here, second period. Thing has been back and forth, and will it be? Far still stalking, man. Man, think about the gains Far has made in his career. Yeah. Far wow. in, really, really deep on that low-level shot. Going to try to elevate. Trips. Jackson steps out of it. Jackson trying to stay grounded. Caution and one is offered but just the one for the step out doesn't really confirmed. matter too much right Nate Still Jackson has the criteria anyway with the higher 30 seconds man this is a long time to hold off a guy like Farr yeah, this kid's coming. got some you know he's got some motion gets he's back to that leg. same shot Jackson defends better this time that's a waste a squandered opportunity nice single now. leg Jackson's so good in those re-attacks. Far only needs one here. He's not going to get it, though. Time runs out. Nate Jackson is your bronze medalist at 86 kilos. That was a fun match. The bronze medal goes to Nathan Jackson. Mike Battier, 4-4.